Why can't we play background music on that while I rap and you beat the boss? You don't need music. You know, the rap songs I listened to all had music. They were nothing but filth, but they had a tune. Sissy, don't rap songs have music? Where's Sissy? She had to pee. Do you think they call it beat the box because the gangsters in the ghetto could only afford boxes for drums? It's a royal house in crisis, box, people Mom, rising from the dead. Me. You don't need no ISIS if you want a severed head. They get them folks in acid, burning them alive. But they look pretty placid next to all this Bible job. See, if Sissy said it needed music, you'd fall all over yourself making me a mixtape. Vernon, have you heard from Hector? Not yet. Text him. Hector works for me. Oh, no, no, no. Hector works for us. You may be president, but I am everything else, and I write the checks. No, no, that man could have sprayed those trees any day this week. Do you want to do your little show, or do you want to eat? I want to save your life. When you're so old and decrepit, you can't protect yourself. Who's going to be running the world? These godless kids out there. We so much as limp, they'll kill us and grind us up into dog food. A great dog deserves rapperties. Joey, you are late. <gasps> the real meat tastes every dog loves. What? Text Hector. Tell him to get here right this minute. Betsy, Hector does not deserve... That little red light is burning. Does that red light mean we're recording? Oh, that's it. Oh, oh my God, we're recording? Christ on a crutch, Vernon. Huh. Hey, 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 hey. A royal house, no, uh, perk up your ears, bro. Tell you what you gotta know. The Bible is more violent than Quentin Tarantino. Ah. You're looking for thrills and hundred dollar bills. Ah. Instagram, iPhone, a tranny shooting hormones. Ah. You're doubting down that banister. Hiding just like when ah. a from dragons and dope. Sagging with no hope. Ah. You're jonesing for excitement just like Mortal Kombat. Use ah. your Bible for excitement as a portal to all that. That's enough, that's enough. Up, 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 up. We've only got 10 minutes. No telling how many we've lost with that little Red light burning. <sighs> that rap song is new, so if I made some kind of gang sign just now, it was an accident. Welcome to another episode of Kick Me, I'm Christian, the show that proves to all you high schoolers out there that our Holy Bible is just as pornographic and violent as those bloodthirsty video games you're addicted to. Today's story... Hey, I got the lower about... orchard done, Mr. Rafferty, and all but an acre of the monastery field. Thank God, Hector. That's good. Thank you, Hector. Just wear what you've got on. We have to make do. Today's story is called Think With Your Head, Not What's Below It, and it's about two brothers just like you. Let's meet their mother. Rebecca was a nice looking girl, but sadly she was barren. She hadn't produced baby one. And her husband, Isaac, that's you, Hector. Oh, Hector, you smell like bug spray. Because the president <sighs> of Rafferty Orchards <clears throat> cares more about black headed <clears throat> apple moors than saving the world <clears throat> from ISIS pornography and drugs. Do you want me to do this or not? Damn it. Vernon, Sissy should not be huffing insecticide. I am walking out of here right now. All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <clears throat> but if Sissy has a two-headed baby, it's on you. Go on, Hector. I I'm sorry, Miss Yo, Sissy. Come on, hey, everybody yeah. is sorry. You're sorry. So Rebecca is barren, and Isaac drops to his knees and prays. God. Please bring Mrs. Rafferty a grandbaby to play with. No, just a baby. And no, just a baby, por favor. And God said, Vernon. You betcha. And before, before Isaac could say, let's Netflix and chill, Rebecca was in the family way. But. Oh God, something is wrong. I'm gigantic and I don't mean to complain, but it's like insane clown posse in here. Oh, sissy. Rebecca. Do not, oh. I gave you twins, and they hate on each other. <gasps> they will beat the crap out of each other for the rest of their days. Seriously, Lord? It's like a WWF Smackdown going on behind my belly button? Uh-oh, time to have the babies. Babe, get oh, the light. Oh, 
The first twin to pop out had bright red skin and was covered in red matted fur. <laughs> Isaac, our son looks like a Bigfoot. I will name him Esau, which means red and hairy. He is my firstborn. He will possess my birthright. The second twin to pop out was holding on to baby Esau's foot. He was smooth and rosy pink, and just the cutest little chubster. He looked just like Kevin when he was born. Mom, I will name him Jacob, which means hairless, smooth. Grabber. Grabber. I'm really bonding with, with the smooth one, but the hairy one is so ugly and gross. Well, I'll take the hairy one. He possesses my birthright. But Isaac, shouldn't this uh, smooth one possess the birthright? Hey, first come, first serve. So Jacob and Esau grew up to be teens, just like you. That's right, you're all grown up with your driver's license, riding all over Ulster County. I can't imagine what you kids are doing in those vehicles at all hours of the night, but I bet you're working up an appetite. Why not stop by Rafferty Orchard's farm stand for some serious snack festivity? Let's get my husband, Vernon, to tell you kids what's up at the market. Welcome to Rafferty Orchard's farm stand. It's pretty bare around here right now. We mostly do apples, and it's past season for eaters. But Betsy wouldn't wait to do her TV show, so here we are. We have just boiled up for syrup. You might remember our pigs from last summer, Sizzle and Picnic. Well, here they are as bacon. And here's the family. My wife, Betsy Rafferty. My son, Gavin Rafferty and his wife, Sissy. Sissy was Ulster County's Miss Golden Delicious back in 2005, and she's mighty proud of it. And Hector, we couldn't do without Hector. We So, we got your bread, milk, and eggs covered. We don't have much of nothing right now, so come on by anyhow. Almanac says we might get one more snow, so. Snacksgiving at Rafferty Orchard's Farm Stand. Snacksgiving. Now, back to our story. So, Jacob and Esau have grown up. My name is Esau. I'm a gun-toting, tattoo-covered, white trash juvenile delinquent. I love hunting, World of Warcraft, and sleeping outdoors in the nude. You might often find me at juvie because I like to hunt, kill, maim, and butt the heads off innocent little kittens. Move. Uh, my name is Jacob. I'm intelligent, sophisticated, and the apple of my mother's eye. I'm the president of student council and the lead singer of the alternative rock band Uplift. Mommy put that in there. <laughs> <laughs> my hobbies include boosting money out of my mom's purse and using stolen credit cards to buy electronics. I didn't do that, Mom. I told you. They and hacked my one email. One day, Esau came home covered in blood and guts and poop after a long day hunting. I'm hungry. Jacob had just stirred up a pot of his award-winning lentil stew and was pulling a loaf of sourdough out of the oven. Sup, Kimo Sabe. Check out this sweet video I shot of me killing Bambi. Uh, don't make me yak. Watch Bambi die! What the fuck, Joey? Language. Oh, that loaf looks droolicious. How about buttering me up a slice? Could I interest you in some award-winning lentil stew, dear brother? Mmm, that smells magically delicious. Bon appetit. Whoop, 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 it is it. Hey, 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 Hot lunch is on hold until you give me your birthright. My what? Yo! Yo, yo, dude. Because Esau was the first twin to pop out of Rebecca, Isaac's birthright Mom, belonged to him. I got this. And because Jacob was the second twin to pop out of Rebecca. He got a big fat goose egg. Heaven. Mom, can you please stop saying popped out? You're scaring sissy. Joey, you are the youth minister. Act like it. It's a figure of speech. You're giving me right now. Mom, you Oh, I, I hear you, I hear you. Back to the story. Birthright. Uh, don't go all Cruella on me, brother. Give me back that bow. Give me back the birthright. Don't be a dick, dude. 
I need my caloric intake fast, quick, and in a hurry. Just give me the measly birthright. Oh, fine. All right. Oh, right. Uh, tablet. And you e-sign here. And here. And initial here. Done. Oh. Now make like a waiter boy and serve me up. With pleasure. <laughs> this stew's giving me a fardiac arrest. <laughs> I'll be crab dusting all night. Now pop me a bottle of some sweet Atlanta champagne. Piss out of my ass. How about that? Oh, oh you idiot! Hey, 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 Come hey, 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 Joey? Is that you? Uh, Betsy? And here to help Look, us understand our story today Betsy. is Pastor Philip Elliott from our own Grace Bible Fellowship Church. The pastor was good enough to let Kick Me, I'm Christian use this basement and their precious camcorder, which Phyllis Kelly guards like some kind of holy relic. I mean, why did the church buy a camcorder if we're not allowed to use it? The camcorder cost the whole collection. Well, you've got week. to talk to Phyllis. I, I, I mean, she gave me fits. Phyllis means well. She's changing your Think with your head, not what's below it. Yes, it's a racy title, but you kids already know more about sex than I ever will. Am I right, Pastor? I'm sure that's true. <laughs> did you investigate those porn sites they visit? Betsy and I did the other night. Vomit. We did not. So, what do you think this Generation Lazy can learn from the story of Jacob and Esau? Wow. Yes, Phyllis, I see you. I'm sorry, Pastor, I'm gonna have to cut to the chase. Look, kids, this is the down low. Esau was a winner winner chicken dinner. All that Humpty had to do to inherit every dime his dead daddy had was breathe air. But he let his downstairs override his upstairs. Have you ever done that? Don't do that anymore. So yes, I see it's seven o'clock and it's time for the choir to come in here and practice. They're chomping at the bit and I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to hear your wise words, Pastor, but you know Phyllis, you hired her. So kids, be sure to tune in next week for another exciting episode of Kick Me, I'm Christian, kids. Hey, Phyllis, here's a hymn for ya. Perk uh, up your ears, bro. Tell you what you gotta know. The Bible is more violent than Quentin Tarantino. If you're looking for thrills and hundred dollar bills. Instagram, I'm on good. a tranny shooting for a bunch of down that uh, banister. I can just like blood on that bed. and go sagging with no hope. You're jonesing for excitement just like Mortal Kombat. Use your Bible for enticement and the